Hi everyone, I'm Pastor Josh. This is our house. You are looking inside our house. This is our living room. Right here is where we have our computer set up. And I want to show you something I thought was kind of cool about God. Using the computer. Now come over here, check this out. This here is one computer, right? Just one big box. But if you look inside, whoa, it's really dirty. There's all kinds of different parts working together as one. Now I love playing this game on this computer where I create my own zoo and I get to control where the exhibits are and how they're built and how many animals are in there. But, and I love playing that on this computer, but would it work if I didn't have this hard drive? Four, three, two, one. No. Now is this hard drive, is that the computer? No. It works as one with the computer, but it's not the computer. Right here's the disk drive. Do you think I could play that zoo game without a disk drive to put the disk in? Four, three, two, one. No, I won't be able to. Also right here is the motherboard in here. It controls how uh, the computer communicates to the hard drive and the disk drive. Do you think I could use the computer and play that game without that? I don't think so. It wouldn't work. See, the computer, even though it's one computer, it's all three pieces working together as one. And that's kind of like God. You know, we have, there's God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit. And they're all working together. You can see that in the book of Genesis, in the first chapter. In Genesis, it easily shows all three, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit working together in creation. Alright kids, well, that was a quick lesson on the Trinity and how it really works. Hopefully it makes a little more sense to you. Well, now, because all three parts are working together as one, in one, I'm going to play a little bit of Zoo. Got my... Oh.